What's up guys, it's Todd from the Aquatic Journal. Today's video is kind of going to be a short video, I think, just based on the planted substrates that I like the most. I have quite a few in this little fish corner here. There's All the tanks kind of have a different substrate in them, so I have my opinion on all of them. I think some are a lot better than others, so I just wanted to kind of walk through all of my tanks and kind of show you which ones I like most. So I hope you guys enjoy. So the first tank I have here is my 20 high eco complete tank. I like eco complete a lot. It's pretty easy to plant in. It has a decent uh, nutrient content so that you don't get a lot of ammonia when you start, but also your plants seem to root pretty quickly in it, which is really nice because I can't say that for a lot of the other substrates that we deal with here. The only problem with is it can get a little bit messy um, and it's not super nutrient rich. So you will have to use root tabs relatively quickly. This is compared to my other tank, which is my dirted eco complete tank. This is different because of the dirt substrate basically underneath it. This is one of the first tanks I set up. It's actually the second tank I set up technically. And I wanted to try the dirted tank. I think it worked awesome. The only problem is it's super prone to get algae because of how much nutrients are in the water. If you plant more heavily, you can avoid that. But I get a lot of hair algae in this tank because my bio load is too high compared to how many plants I have in the tank. So I'm hoping to kind of offset that with the big Madagascar lace that's in the back. but. So far, I still have a lot of hair algae in the tank. I like the dirted EcoComplete better than I like regular EcoComplete because you can grow plants much quicker, it seems like, in this than you can in just standard EcoComplete. The difference is your water is definitely a lot dirtier in the dirted EcoComplete than it is in the regular EcoComplete version. This is followed up by just a standard aquarium gravel that you buy at Petco or wherever you shop for those kind of stuff. Um, this one is a white one. I do not like this one at all. This is definitely the bottom of the list. You can obviously see how dirty the malm is in the bottom of the tank. Everything is super visible. So I don't like that at all about the tank. But it is cheap. It's pretty easy to use. Uh, the plants will root in it. So that's a plus. But you're not going to get a lot of nutrients uh, out of the soil at all. You'll definitely have to use root tabs if you use it. And it's pretty much the same price as EcoComplete. So if I had to choose between standard aquarium gravel and EcoComplete, I'd almost always pick EcoComplete because it's a lot easier to use. This is followed up by my fluorite substrate. I have both fluorite dark and fluorite red in this tank. I hated this when I got it originally because the plants would not root. They kept coming up and coming up and coming up. But after a while, the plants really did take hold and this tank really is thriving. So I can't really complain about it. I think there is nutrients in the substrate. You do have to rinse this a lot. So if you compare it to EcoComplete, I think you might get more nutrients and it's harder to root in it but you also have to rinse it beforehand and eco complete is ready right away. You don't have to rinse it, but you, but it doesn't maybe have as much nutrients as the other one does. So you kind of have to pick and choose between those. I'm not sure which one I would pick to be honest with you. I think they're both good enough as is, and they're not that expensive. So they're both good starting substrates for planted tanks. Basically this is followed up by my 90 gallon tank. This actually has pea gravel play sand and a dirt substrate underneath this. This is also one I set up a while ago. It actually does quite well, to be honest with you. Again, we'll have algae issues because there's dirt underneath. It has a large amount of nutrients in the soil, which will leak into the water and give you algae. So if you plant it heavily, you can avoid that. I didn't plant heavy enough, so I still get a little bit of algae, but it's not actually all that bad. My plants seem to do really well in this tank, even for how deep it is. You can see how good the dwarf sag grows in the sand and dirt. I think this is an awesome way to do it. If you can do sand and dirt, and plant enough you can get really nice results for a super cheap price and it's a nice option the pea gravel actually does pretty good if i compare it to eco complete i like eco complete more because of how it looks but honestly i think they did just about the same with the dirted eco complete versus the dirted pea gravel i think they got, had about the same plant growth but obviously one was much cheaper than the other one because you can buy a 50 pound bag of pea gravel for almost nothing to be honest with you so pretty cheap um, and a super good way to have a good planted substrate the next one is my new 45 gallon tank. This is my most expensive substrate as it's Fluval Stratum that's in the bottom of this. This is a pretty expensive planted substrate, but it does an amazing job. It is very hard to plant them in originally because the plants do not want to sink because it's a really light clay based substrate. So the plants don't really sink in. So you really have to do plant them really deep and then wait for them to root in. Otherwise they will come up pretty easily. The fish can easily pull up the plants, which is what happened when I started planting this one. So. It's a bit of a struggle to start planting with, but honestly, the water clarity cannot be beat with this and 
the nutrients in the soil are so good. Your plants will grow huge roots in them because there's so much nutrients in the soil. And honestly, not a lot of that leaches into the water. So I don't get a lot of algae with this tank. I really just get nice clean water, great growing plants. The only problem with it is how expensive it is to buy. This is probably twice the price of what EcoComplete or the fluorite is. So that's kind of where the struggle is there. Um, and I like them both, but I'm not sure which one I would go with if I was on a budget. I tend to buy EcoComplete because it's so cheap. The next two tanks I have, I'll just quick go through here. I have a planted, dirted tank. This one's newly set up. Um, it's pretty cheap to do. This is just standard um, blasting sand, black diamond blasting sand, and then dirt underneath it. You can't even see the dirt really with the sand, so it blends in well. I have a lot of algae growing in this tank, um, a lot of plant decay. This is just a newly set up tank, so you never know how it'll settle over time, but right now it seems to get a lot of algae. It's a super cheap way to set up, and I want to see kind of how they'll grow over time. My other tank is just black diamond blasting sand on the bottom. This is for my Egyptian mouth brooders because they like to dig in the sand. So I just gave them a sand so they can dig in it without pulling up the dirt underneath it. I haven't planted anything in here yet, so I can't tell you how it will work with plants. But I do like the look of the tank. Obviously, you get water clarity if you just use sand versus having the dirt underneath. So it's a nice option as well there. Overall, I have a lot of dirted tanks you can see those kind of are a favorite of my fish room they grow plants super well and it's super cheap way to get a substrate the problem is it doesn't look all that great and you'll oftentimes get a lot of algae in the water if you compare that to like a fluval stratum where you get about as much nutrients in and you get perfect water clarity it's kind of hard to decide between the two of them fluval stratum is so expensive on one hand and on the other hand the other one is so cheap but the water doesn't look all that great so you kind of have to pick and choose I like just standard EcoComplete and Fluorite tanks. The water stays nice and clear as long as you don't have anything else dirtying up the water. And the tanks look really good. And they have a decent amount of minerals in the substrate, but it's just kind of hard to see if you should do Fluval Stratum versus EcoComplete. I definitely le lean towards EcoComplete almost all the time. So it's kind of hard to tell. That's just my opinion on planted substrates. If I was setting one up today, I'll either do sand and dirt or just standard EcoComplete probably. If I had the money, Fluval Stratum is awesome, but I tend to not spend that much when I set up a tank. So that's kind of where I'm at with it. So I hope this was informational, guys. It's just kind of a quick video running through my tanks, kind of what I use, what I think about it. So if you enjoy this type of content, please let me know in the comments below. I'd appreciate it if you subscribe and stay tuned. We have a project planned. You may have seen it in this video. I don't know. It's right behind me here, but I've been working on something for a while now. I don't know when this video will come out or if that video will come out first, but I got something in the works. There's a lot of things I'm working on. So if you enjoy what we're doing, please subscribe, like the video. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.